In today's Minecraft Survival Let's Play, it is fully action packed. We travel to the Nether to rack up 30 XP, and you know what that means? We finally make some insane enchantments at the end of the video. So make sure you go ahead and check out the whole video so you don't miss out on what is to come. And also, if you're watching my videos like this, make sure you go ahead and just turn it this way and click that subscribe button down below, and then you can go back and check out the rest of the video. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully you enjoy. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 13 likes and if we do, maybe you'll get lucky like this guy. Hey everyone, how's it going? So welcome to episode three of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. As you guys can tell, we are introducing face cam to the series. Let me know in the comment sections what you think about having face cam in the series and for future videos. I'm looking forward to it and I'm really excited about today's episode because one, uh, yeah, we've been spending a lot of time in the campsite, but as you can tell from the intro, we are essentially going into the nether. We're going to try to make an enchantment table and also reach 30 XP all in one video. So it is a lot to do. So we have to do that really quick as fast as possible also one person pointed out where did i get all that wool from and i actually have a little wool farm here uh there's going to be animal farms it's a work of progress i didn't want to focus on that being the main part of episode two but this is going to be another part for episode four potentially where we actually transform this whole area into farmland but that will be for another video today we need to really upgrade our armor and we have to upgrade a lot of the tools we have because they are essentially uh yeah pretty much dying right now so we're gonna go grab our diamonds and a lot of you really enjoyed the how many diamonds uh do i have like you guys all killed it in the comment sections so it, i'm gonna try to come up with another thing right now so we're gonna guess with how many likes all right, so the guess for today's video in the comment section is going to be, what do you think I'm going to get on my diamond sword in, for the enchantment table? So you put your guess. If you get it right, that would be pretty crazy. So that's going to be it. Uh, but right now, we're going to make ourselves some, a diamond pickaxe. Uh, that is the first thing we need to do. All right, there we go. So we have our diamond pickaxe, our first ever pickaxe. Our old iron one is pretty much about to die. So we can say rest in peace to that. I'm going to keep the iron sword for now because we're going to make a diamond sword once we get back and do all that good stuff. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get our water bucket, which should be right over here. We have two of them. I don't think we're going to need both. I'll take some torches. We have extras of that. Uh, we're going to toss our old... This is what I want to do. I want to keep all of our old... Uh, uh, gear over here uh oh it's turning night already all right let's just quickly jump in bed all right so we're gonna head into the mine uh and once we go down here i know there's an area that has a lava pool all right so this is where the lava pool was um it's actually just perfect so we're gonna place the water down that was really loud in my audio i don't know if it was loud on your audio too and perfect all right so let's place down these torches and let's get ourselves uh at least 24 obsidian all right so i actually take that back i think we only need roughly 15 to 14 uh one is we need four obsidian to make our enchantment table and then we need roughly i believe 10 um 10 obsidian to make our um nether portal all right so in our storage room we should have at least one book from the village raid and now we're gonna go ahead and grab the rest of our diamonds which was pretty risky that i took all the diamonds with us i just realized that now let's go ahead and craft ourselves our first ever Oops, uh, nether, uh, nether, I mean enchantment table. So there it is. We have a successfully gotten an enchantment table, which is pretty nice. Now what I want to do is I want to grab, uh, where is it? The random gravel. And we're going to go place it down so we can get some flint, so we can make some flint and steel. So we can actually activate ourselves a nether portal. So let's go ahead and see if we get any luck with this. We just need, oh, the first block was flint. Okay, sweet. That was actually really, really lucky. Let's go ahead and craft our flint and steel. Boom. That's all taken care of. Uh, we're going to throw all that in there. So let's go and activate our portal. There is this little cave in here that we can place it right in there. Oh, there's a few foxes. I'm sorry. I disturbed you guys. <laughs> all right. Let's go and place it right over here. And this should be fine over here. So we go one, two, and then we place our blocks. We only have to do three. So check this out. One, two, three. Alrighty. So the finishing touch to our portal, 
there it is. All right, our portal is complete. It looks it looks very nice, I have to say. 10 out of 10. Uh, let's go ahead and place our flint and open this bad boy up and see where the heck it brings us. Now, I'm going to put my shield auto automatically on me because I don't know what we're going to run into. And I'm just going to place ourselves a little path just to get in here. All right, let's hope for the best. Let's just jump on in here and see what we find. All right, so it looks like we got ourselves... A pretty decent spawn. Uh, at least it's not near too much lava. 1.16 has been giving me a little bit of issues, so I'm on 1.15.2. What I want to do is I want to get as much XP as possible. That way we can get to level 30, and once we get to level 30, we can go and do some enchanting. We're going to try to get some all diamond armor, uh, diamond sword, of course, and we're going to try to enchant ourselves our uh, diamond pickaxe, which you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, level 30 XP, and then once we're done with that, we'll head on back to our base and try to make these enchants happen. All right, so we're about to reach 30 XP right about now. That wasn't too bad. It didn't take too long, um, but there we go. We officially reached level 30, so now we're just going to have to head on back. I'm just going to finish gathering all these quartz, and now that we have so many quartz, we can definitely do something with it. I was thinking of actually building a castle near the village that we saw in episode two and protect that village and use it and maybe even bring villagers to our campsite so we can have as uh, trades. Someone actually mentioned that in the comment sections. I thought it was a brilliant idea. So we could be trying to do that in the next few episodes. But yeah, let's go head on back to our nether portal and head back to our base. All right, so we're back at uh, our base and I just realized... It is nighttime, and this is not the ideal scenario to be back, especially when there's probably a lot of creepers around. So we're going to go and try to make it to our campsite without blowing anything up. And uh, yeah, you know how creepers can be a lot of times around here. So especially around here, I have to place more torches. Um, oh, shoot. There they are. Oh, gosh. Great. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. There's a whole lot of them. What did we just do? Okay. All right, we can actually use these for saddles. We can even make a saddle in today's episode, which wouldn't be too bad. So that would be pretty, pretty nice, except we don't have a name tag. But I'm going to take... Oh, not these little zombies. There's two of them. What the heck? Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Nope, bad, bad, bad zombie. Bad little zombie. Jeez, these things are the worst. I don't know about you guys, but they are... Po Where did the creeper go? Okay, hopefully the creeper stays there. We're just going to go around... Please don't follow us to our base. And hopefully there's no creeper near our base. That would be... What an ending that would be. Okay. We should be able to make it. That was a little bit too crazy for me. We can take a deep breath now. I don't think... There are some creepers around here, but I don't think they're going to attack us. Uh, so we'll be... Okay. Let's go ahead and drop all that in there. That was uh, a lot to take in just now. Just to get back to our campsite. That was pretty interesting. So we have ourselves our enchantment table. Now we're going to have to go and make ourselves a lot of books. So I do have a little area here that has... A bit of... Where is this Where is this dude coming from? Okay, I'm just going to ignore him. Oh, there's another one. All right, I do have a little bit of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Sugar cane for paper. Now, the thing is... This is where the big problem is. We do not have a lot of leather. So, what I might have to do... Is I might have to go and go on a killing spree. As many horses and cows as I can find, sadly enough. And that way we can make ourselves a decent amount of books. And then we will be able to bring back cows and horses into our farm eventually. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, I think that's a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, so we're finally back at the campsite. I'm not going to lie. That took me way too long to find as many cows. I almost feel like I completely put all the cows in this world extinct because of what I just had to do. I don't think I spent that long ever in survival just hunting down cows. Because the problem was I did not have a cow farm and I didn't have the ability to actually breed them enough where I can actually have a lot of leather so I had to go hunting and it, it took me quite some time I am not lying that was way too long it almost took me more than it takes to make a video so it took double the time all right so let's go ahead and actually craft ourselves uh some paper so we have to do we have 54 so almost perfect okay this is not too bad we have ourselves our books okay very nice so we have 18 books which is not amazing because we still have a lot of leather to use so we're gonna have to go get some more sugarcane i never said this video was gonna be easy to go to the nether to get level 30 and then to get some really good enchants that's just not an easy process to do so i'm gonna go and see if we have ourselves any more sugarcane 
Um, yeah, that's a big mistake. What I did there, I took all the sugar cane. I didn't leave any to grow. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go find some more sugar cane. So we'll be back. Alrighty, so we have a little bit of sugar cane that I just found. It shouldn't be, it probably won't be enough, but it'll help us for sure. Let's actually remove the wool block so we can see how many we're going to be able to scoop up from here. Uh, I'm going to make sure to not use all these so that we can actually make a sugar cane farm. Uh, something that we really might not need after we do the whole bookshelves. So we might have to really worry about them too much. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, there's a few more down there. Let's go and snag them. I really suck at swimming underwater. I don't know why I just can't do it successfully here. So, uh, oh, there's more cows. They're not extinct, everyone. <laughs> okay, we have more cows, but we're just going to leave those be because uh, we, we actually did like almost put all the cows extinct on this world. No kidding. <laughs> all right, so let's just go gather up a little bit more here. Oh, this is actually not too bad. Um, all right, that's all I can find. We are probably going to have to do a nice enchantment room or, or, or structure it probably won't be a tent although if you guys want me to stick with that campsite theme then you guys can let me know in the comment sections i feel like a lot of you are really liking it it was intended to be just a starter area it was not supposed to be a uh, full-time area that we're going to stay in but it could be an area that we might stay longer and we could move on to having our villages or villagers come to our campsite and we can develop it, build a castle, and kind of build our own village. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. And there's another horse. So not all the horses went extinct either. I realized midway into killing all the horses that it really wasn't doing much. Like they won't really drop a lot of, lot of leather. Uh, maybe like one or two of them would drop one. So I had to go on a full cow spree and uh, yeah, not a pretty sight. <laughs> all right, so we're back and let's check this out. Oh, wait. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave that one sugar cane for now. We can always get more. So we have 39, which is just enough for us to make this happen, I think. So we have 31 bookcases. We probably need more, to be honest. Uh, but for now, I think it should do. And put those there. And we have six bookshelves. That's all we have right now. Just cutting it close. Let's get some more wood. Bookshelves in the middle. Ten bookshelves now. And that's literally all we have left. Um, I don't think I have any other sugarcane lying around anywhere, so that is going to be all of them. Ten bookshelves. Now, all right, so I did my research, and we need at least five more bookshelves. So the story begins where we have to go and find ourselves some more sugarcane. Alrighty, so I think I finally gathered enough sugarcane. It's been a pretty long video for me to make. Uh, this one definitely took a lot because we're trying to achieve so much and so little time. So let's go ahead and make our last amount of books that we can make. We have 16 books, so we should be 100% fine to make ourselves an ultimate uh, enchantment table. So we have 50... That was spot on right there. We have one book left. If I had to go back and get a, like three more sugar cane just so I could make two more or one more book, that I would have, I would just, yeah, I would end it. That would be, that would be it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And we have a lot of food to cook up too. I forgot we went and pretty much put the cows extinct in this world almost. Uh, but let's go ahead and just place this somewhere for now. And then I will move it eventually into a different spot. Because this is the flat land here, we're just going to go ahead and place it here. This will not be the final area. I promise you that. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to make this happen here. So it goes something like this. Okay. Like that. All the way around town. Perfect. We have just enough <laughs> that right there is perfect so all right so we're back the face cam uh, died out so i had to change the battery oh and it's night all right so let's go ahead and actually craft ourselves uh our diamond sword so let's do that real quick and then we already have our diamond pickaxe now i want to make ourselves a diamond chest plate that's one thing we want to do some pants and our headgear and our boots that is pretty nice. We have only four diamonds left, but you know what? That's not a big deal at all. Uh, let's grab all of our lapis and let's run over down to our beautiful enchantment table that we successfully did in one episode. Like all that. That's crazy. All right. Let's go place 64. And like I said, diamond sword is first. Ooh, let's see if you guys. So, ah, sweeping edge two. Wait, what does sweeping edge do? 
All right, so essentially Sweeping Edge, it just increases how much damage the other mobs in the group receive. It increases the knockback slash damage of the sweep attack. So it is only useful if you're fighting while standing. So I don't think I'm going to use that, although it is quite nice. I'm definitely going to go with the sharpness. So if you guys in the comp... Oh, and Unbreaking 3. But if you guys in the comment sections guessed sharpness, uh, then I'll make sure to heart you guys in the comment sections. So shout out to all of you. Let's go ahead and now do the pickaxe. So we have efficiency and unbreaking now i don't think i want to go ahead and rush anything yet on the pickaxe but let's do uh let's just do prop one okay that's not too bad uh let's hopefully oh protection two so prop two that's really good and prop two okay we're getting pretty lucky with these and we have fire protection you know what we'll do fire protection maybe not we'll do prop all right, that's pretty decent. Let's get rid of all that. Let's put on our nice new armor. Um, and you know what? We'll give it a shot. We'll try the pickaxe. Unbreaking and unbreaking one, it's not really too too special. So I'm going to hold off on the pickaxe until we can kind of get some more XP. And maybe, you know what? Let's try to just, like, in, let's just see. Enchant this book. Unbreaking and efficiency. Uh, let's just do efficiency on the book. And we'll have that for the future. Efficiency two. All right. And fortune one. Okay. That is quite a solid pickaxe right there all right i'm pretty happy with those enchants everyone so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode it was action-packed uh if you guys want any more videos with action-packed content like this let me know in the comment sections and give me your feedback and suggestions and what other ideas you may have uh for the survival let's play i'm really really enjoying it and thank you again for all the support make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell other than that guys thanks for watching my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy